Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of a brand I've never, ever, ever tried. So I'm really excited and at the same time nervous because I've never tried any of these products. This brand is floating all over Instagram. It's called Nabla. I hope I said it right. It's N-A-B-L-A. -A. And they sell this brand in Ulta. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with this brand. I personally have not tried anything out, but I have been wanting to try out their products. They recently um, emailed me a couple of weeks back asking if I wanted to try out their products. And of course I said, yes by the way this is not sponsored i just really wanted to do this video with you guys because i've never tried anything out so the way i'm going to do this video is a first part of the video i'm going to do a full haul because they sent over i feel like they sent over everything on their website so i'm going to do an entire haul and then after the haul i'll go into the first impression makeup tutorial so let's just go ahead and dive in okay girl this is a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. So the first thing I wanna show you is this box which has their foundations. And this is probably what I'm most excited about. Um, first off, the first thing I noticed about their foundations is the shade range is not that great. Um, but hopefully I can find a color that works for me in today's tutorial. They did send a full size um, in the shade D10 Deep. And their foundation is called Close Up Futuristic Foundation. Um, at the bottom it says, it's a weightless, soft focus, perfect complexion foundation. So let me give you guys a close up of the packaging. Let me open it up. So this is what the little tube looks like. So hopefully this will be a good match for me. But I mean, they did send over all of their other shades so I can definitely, um, you know, play around with these. I like how they sent little small ones instead of having a box filled with all of the full size. So these small ones are, it's pretty much the same packaging, but they're just smaller like that. But I did not know there was a drawer under here. So this has two brushes and these are pressed powders. So you have light, medium, and deep. Let me show you guys what the colors look like because I wasn't too impressed with the shades of the powders. Um, maybe this will be something that I could use to set my under eyes, but this is dark. I'm gonna show you guys what dark looks like. So this is the darkest one. Um, yeah. So I'll try to see if um, dark would work as a under eye setting powder, which I think they already sent over a setting powder, but I don't know. We'll work with it and see how it looks once we start with the tutorial. So now let's get into all of the other stuff, which, girl. Mm. So in here they included two of their rose gold makeup bags. This one just has um, the little brushes inside. These are all eye brushes, which I'm gonna be using today. And it looks like they included another foundation. This one is in the shade T, T50. What shade is this? So there's another one right there, which that one is already in the PR box, which is a smaller one, but this is just a full size. We also have some concealers. These are their Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealers. I have the shade Almond, Warm Honey, and Amber. So let me open these up. All right, so this is the packaging. It's super cute packaging, pink top, super, super cute. This one is almond right here. This one is warm honey. And then this one is amber. I have a feeling almond may be the shade that I use. Next, they included a setting powder. So I do have one to use today. So this is their translucent close up setting powder. I love how they package their stuff. Super cute and different and ooh, this is cute. I haven't even opened the setting powder yet, but this is so cute. But this is how she looks up close. Really, really cute. I'm glad that it's translucent and not like a shade that I don't use because you guys know I always, pretty much always use translucent powders. So we are gonna be playing with this today. Next we have their Major Pleasure Volumizing Extension Mascara. Mm. 
see. I haven't opened this one up either. The only things I've already opened up were the eyeshadow palettes. I haven't really, ooh. Y'all, this is so, like, their packaging is so nice. It feels pretty heavy, like, good quality. But this is how the mascara looks. It's like a really pretty light nude color. So I will be using this today. Let me see what the wand looks like. Okay, the wand is nice. It kind of reminds me of the Too Faced, um, what is it, the Better Than Sex Mascara, but it's not as thick as the Better Than Sex Mascara wand. So I feel like this will be really good for my lashes. Then we have their Waterproof Brow Pot, and this is in the shade Uranus. So this is like a brow pomade. This is what that looks like. Let me open it. I never really use brow pomades on my channel. I always stick to like brow pencils because they're so much easier for me to use. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use this because I'm just I'm just not a fan of brow pomades anyway. So I'm gonna save this one for a giveaway. So they also included their liquid lipsticks and I have six of them in front of me. So the shades I have are, do this say it on the packaging? Yeah, it does on the back. So this one is Ritual. This is like a really pretty nude color. This one is called Rumors. Next we have Colonel. Next we have Broadway. This one's really pretty, it's like a brown color. Then we have Zen. And then the last one is called Alter Ego. I'm gonna save all of the eyeshadow palettes for last. So the next ones we have are glosses. Y'all know I love me some lip glosses. These are called their Shine Theory Lip Glosses. I have four in total. I'm gonna take these out because y'all can't see them in the packaging. So we have Crazy Diamond at the bottom. It's like a really pretty glittery gloss. Then we have Syrup right here. Then this one is called Dress Code. And then the lighter nude is called Lethal Nude. And it looks like I have two more glosses in here. These are more shimmery glosses. This one is called Champagne Supernova. And then we have After Sex. These are cute, look at the top, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all, look at the packaging on this. Super cute, the top is like a clear with gold glitter. Really, really pretty. All right, so it looks like we have some more eye products. So this one is their Long Lasting Matte Eye Pencil in the shade Bombay Black. Then we have their Cereal Liner Precision Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner, and this one is in the shade, I'm pretty sure it's black. It doesn't have the shade on the box, but let me open it up. All right, so this is how the packaging looks right here. And yeah, so it's just a black liner. Then we have two of their magic pencils. These are inner rim eye pencils. So I guess for the waterline, we have the shade nude and then dark nude. So those are those. Then right here we have their brow, ooh, brow pencils, yes. So these are their Brow Define Ultra Slim Retractable Brow Pencils, hopefully one of these shades work for me. I hope, like fingers crossed, because I don't want to have to use another. This one's called Uranus. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Yes, 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 yes. Then we have more lip products, which is all of their matte lipsticks. I'm not gonna open all of these, but I'll just open a couple of them so y'all can at least see the packaging of how they look. This one is in the shade Nolita. Really, really pretty rose gold packaging. And then this is, ooh, that's a pretty color. This is Nolita. Lust and Elusive. I feel like Lust will be like my type of color because it looks like a rosy, mauve, dusty, rosy nude. Let me see. Oh yeah, oh, this is pretty. This is so pretty, look at that. I don't even know what eye look I'm gonna use, but this will definitely be a shade that 
um, I want to try out today. So this is called Lust. All right, we're almost done. We have two of their blushes. These are really cute. They kind of remind me of the Tarte. Actually, it looks just like the Tarte blushes. They come in the same clear packaging as Tarte. This one is called um, their Blossom Blush in the shade Satellite of Love. Oh yeah, packaging is very, very similar to Tarte. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. That's a really pretty color. And then this next one is called Impulse. Ooh, that one's pretty too, but I think I like the first one better. This one is, I mean, it's, I feel like this would be perfect for like the summer, spring. Really pretty and bright. But that first one is like my type of color when it comes down to blushes. But I mean, this one's still really pretty. All right, so we're finally down to the eyeshadow palettes and they sent over six eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna start out with these smaller ones, which are, I think these are their newest ones. And they're called the Cutie Palettes, which fits because they're pretty small. They're pretty cute. This one is Nude and then the other one is Coral. So let me show y'all what Nude looks like. Really cute. I like how they come with the mirror too. So this is how the palette looks. Nice size mirror. Colors are really pretty. But this is what Nude looks like. And then here's just a close up of the palette, like the actual packaging of the palette. And this other one is Coral, which is my favorite one out of the two. So freaking pretty. The colors are so pretty, so warm, so fall appropriate. Here's a close up right there. All right, going into the other palettes, this next one is called Soul Blooming. And this is a really pretty spring-like packaging. And inside, yeah, so this is perfect for spring. This is how she looks. I feel like I wouldn't really use this one because the shades are pretty light. It's more like a pastel springy palette, which I don't really gravitate towards. So I'm going to save this one for a giveaway. Then the next one is their dreamy palette. This one matches the liquid lipsticks, like the packaging on the liquid lipsticks. Look at that, really pretty. I like how they have the gold plate in the middle. And then this is what the inside looks like. I'm gonna fold it back so that mirror won't give a reflection. But this is how the dreamy palette looks. You have your purples, your pinks, your nudes. It kind of gives me the Huda Beauty nude palette vibe. Like it has purples, pinks, browns, nudes, a little bit of gold really cute. All right, this next one I feel like is my favorite out of all the ones they sent. It's called their Secret Palette, and I want to say this is one of their newer palettes as well. This is how she looks. I'm going to fold this one back too so the mirror won't give off too much of a reflection, but this is the inside of this one. You have teals, pinks, browns, gold. You have a black in here. I like this one. So I don't know if I wanna use this one or if I wanna use a little mini coral palette. I'm gonna set this one to the side. Okay, finally down to the very last palette that I received and it's called their Poison Garden Palette. So right here. So yeah, that is what Poison Garden looks like. This navy blue is calling my name. That magenta is calling my name. This dark color right here, this gold, ooh. All right, so that is all that I received. Now let's go ahead and dip into these products. Let's come up with the look. I don't even know what I'm gonna come up with, but let's just try it out. Okay, so one thing I noticed um, while I was doing the haul is it didn't come with any um, primers or moisturizers. So I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop hydrating um, moisturizer and also the Jelly Pop primer on my skin. But before I do that, I want to see if the foundation match is a good match. So I'm not gonna put anything on my skin yet because I wanna swatch the foundation. So this one is D10 Deep. So I'm gonna put a little squirt right here. And I also pulled out the shade D, no, T50 Tan. 
So between these two, the shades after these were a definite no. And they did send over the full size in, um, in this one, but I wanted to get out the smaller size because I might just go ahead and give away the full size. But this is how, okay, I think right off the bat, this one is gonna work. But let me just see how these, I should have just swatched it on my chest. I don't know what I was doing, but it's okay. It is okay. This is D10 Deep, and then T50 Tan right here. I think I wanna use Tan instead of Deep because Deep looks a little too dark. Let me try to blend it in some. Oh yeah, deep is too dark, we're gonna use tan. All right, so now we can go in with my moisturizer using this one by e.l.f. This is super watery. So now I'm just going in with a little bit of the Dew Primer by e.l.f. Now I'm gonna let all of this sit on my skin and I'm gonna do my brows. I'm not gonna cut out this part because I'm trying out their brow pencils, so I'm not gonna cut it out this time. But yeah, going into the brows, we're gonna take their Brow Define Brow Pencil in the shade Uranus. So I'm gonna brush up my brow hairs first with a spoolie. It feels pretty firm too, so it's a good little eye brush or brow brush. Now let's try out the pencil. I'm gonna need a mirror. Okay, so the product isn't soft. So it's pretty, um, what's the word? It's like a hard pencil. It's not soft or not waxy. And I like when they're like that because you don't have to worry about adding too much product on your brows as you stroke it. So right here, I'm just doing light strokes and the color builds up, which by the way, this is a good color. It looks a little, a little, 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 like a little bit gray, but once I clean up my brows with my concealer, you can't really tell it, but this is how I pretty much fill in my brows like that. All right, so this is how they look. Not too bad. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up with some concealer and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done with my brows for now. I just used um, concealers that I always use for my brows, which are by Kevin Aquan. I didn't wanna use the ones by Nabla just yet because I wanted to use these as my highlighting concealer. Um, but just to point out, if you guys are new to my channel, um, the concealer shades that I use for my brows are pretty much irrelevant because I always go over that with foundation. I've had a couple of people ask me why I use shades for my brows that are not the right shade, but the shades that I use are so irrelevant. Like they're not to be shown as my final look because I go over it all with foundation. Anywho, going into the foundation, again, I'm using the shade Tan. Hopefully this looks good. Mm, I'm kind of nervous, why is it not coming out? Come on, why is it not coming out? Maybe, there it goes. There it goes. All right, I'm just gonna put that much on and just see how it looks. So I wanna try out their foundation brush. It's called their foundation buffer brush. And I'm just gonna stipple this into the skin. The color looks good right here on the middle of my face. I don't know how it's gonna look everywhere else. But the finish is pretty so far. Yeah, that's a, that's a good color. I feel like it's drying down really fast though. Like, but it's still giving me that pretty natural glow. Okay. The coverage isn't as full, so I can definitely build this up. I put on more on this side than I did this side because I can see right in here 
I can still me um I can see my skin peeking through right here so I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the foundation I'm not gonna put too much on my forehead just a little bit to at least cover up um, the concealer come on and then I put a little bit more around my mouth area and just a couple of more drops right in here to build it up yeah this color works it would have been way too dark if I used the shade deep but this color is a good color to use I mean what do you guys think I think it looks nice really really nice and natural you know I think I want to do a yeah let's do a wear test today because it's only 12 30 yes let's do a wear test so I'm gonna see how it holds up for a few hours and that way you guys can see how everything looks so let's go ahead and do the concealer I have almond and warm honey I think I want to start out with let's do warm honey instead of almond so this one is almond right there that's looking that's a nice color and then we have warm honey this applicator is pretty big it's y'all this whole thing is reminding me of Tarte Shape Tape even the dope foot applicator because it's so big okay all right so I think I'm gonna go in with this one because it's it looks like a more golden undertone versus almond because this one will look like it'll be a little green on me I don't know so we're gonna go in with warm honey as my under eye concealer just to kind of highlight it smells like coconut cookies it smells good and I'm actually gonna use their beauty sponge to blend out my concealer so it has two flat sides and then the bottom is round it's pretty bouncy like it doesn't feel stiff and this color is actually a nice color I probably added too much though so yeah I'm noticing this concealer a little bit of it is gonna go a long way but the color the color works yeah I can still smell the concealer like it has a sweet coconut scent to it so it's not bad but I can still smell it now that it's on my skin but let me go ahead and set this concealer using their translucent setting powder hopefully this is good because I would hate for this to not be good and I'm gonna take another sponge which is my Sonia Kashuk since I've already used that other sponge because I feel like the sponge that I use to blend out my concealer like the shape of it is kind of big so it's gonna be hard to apply powder I like to use the point of this sponge just to get right under my eyes like this oh this powder literally melts in it's super fluffy too like it's finely milled it's really um how do I describe this Laura Mercier yes there we go the powder is reminding me of Laura Mercier like you guys know how that powder is it's really soft it's not like chalky this is giving me that Laura Mercier feel and it blends out like a dream okay they might have done something with this I really need to set the rest of my face where I didn't apply any of the loose set um, the loose setting powder so I'm gonna go back into the powder and take a big fluffy brush and just lightly dust it all over the face because I don't want to go over my face with a pressed foundation powder since I really want to stick to most of the products that you know that's in this brand so I'm just gonna lightly tap that translucent powder and put it all over my face just to set everywhere I also noticed that they didn't send over any bronzers I don't think they have do they have bronzers I don't think they do so I'm just gonna use um, my morphe glamour bronze bronzer in the shade bron um, 
phenom. This is just gonna warm up my skin since I have all of this powder on, just to kind of lightly bring the color back into my skin a little bit. And this headband is meant to get dirty. This is why I wear them. <laughs> just so you guys, just so you know. <laughs> and I'm gonna also take some of that bronzer down the side of my nose to sculpt it out some. So before we go into the eyeshadow, I like to bake the side of my nose. So I'm, take, so I'm taking a little bit more of that translucent setting powder and just letting it sit on the side of my nose. So far it's looking good. So far. I want to try out the pressed powder since I haven't used it yet. And I'm just going to use this um, on the side of my jawline just to really define that um, bronzer. And here I'm using their precision powder brush to apply this. So we're just applying some right here. Now let's go ahead and try out some palettes. I pulled out the coral one and also the secret palette. Don't know which one I wanna use, so I don't even know. Like, I don't freaking know. I think I'm gonna use this one, the coral palette. But I at least wanna swatch these so you guys can see. Ooh, very, very creamy pigmented oh my gosh look at that color at the end right here on my pinky okay let me swatch this palette Ooh, very pigmented like extra pigmented those are just a few shades let's swatch this brown in here uh -uh. Oh my gosh, it's so dark and chocolatey. Oh, wow. Okay. I wanna use this palette. Still wanna show you guys the secret palette too. So this one has those teals, browns, really, really pretty fall colors in here. Let me swatch this teal. It's called Addiction. And I wanna swatch, let's swatch Big Experience. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, Fantasize, let's swatch her. Oh, these are these, right. All right, so, so let's see how these look swatched. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. This is a pretty color right here. It's like a really soft rose, like a dusty rose color. Hmm, that's pretty. Let me see how, let me see how it swatches though. <gasps> Y'all, when I tell you these are so buttery, the mattes, that's so pretty. All right, one more, let's swatch. Let's swatch this color. It's like a soft nude right here. These mattes are so creamy and smooth. I wanna swatch it right here beside that other one. Oh yes, do y'all see, did y'all see that? Like the swatch was endless, like it still kept on going. I feel like this one has more transition colors than the coral palette. Cause this one has, um, yeah, this one doesn't even have a transition color in it, but it's so pretty. Let's use both of the palettes. I'm going to dip into this one for my transition color. I'm going to use their little, um, brush. This is their precision soft crease brush. And this will be, let me see, hold on. Actually, I wanna use their large blender brush instead because this one looks pretty skinny. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty skinny. I'm gonna use their large, yeah, so we're gonna use a large blender brush. This is how, yeah, so we're gonna use a large blender brush. So this is how it looks. And this is gonna be my transition brush color. 
the color I'm dipping into as my transition will be this shade right here in the shade Ghibli Ghibli I think I said it right I don't know but we're gonna put this in the crease oh my gosh these are so soft like the shadow girl what they put in these shadows even the brush this feels really really soft and fluffy but just by swatching the matte shadows on my finger um, on my hand a few minutes ago I could already tell the shadow was really 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 soft smooth and silky but this blends out like a dream all right so now that we have our transition shade we're gonna go into the coral palette because I really want this one to be the star of the show for today now I'm gonna take the crease this is the precision soft crease brush and dip into this dark brown right here i'm gonna be very light-handed with this because i notice that their shadows are really 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 pigmented so i'm gonna put this in my crease yeah these blend so good i'm impressed with the shadows so far impressed now I'm gonna pick up their lash line smudger brush, but I'm not gonna use this as my lash line brush. I'm gonna use this as my lid, like for my lid, but this is how it looks. It's really short, but it does have those flat sides. So I feel like this is gonna be good to pick up that shadow, but I wanna dip into red shape, this color right here. I don't think I've ever done a red, like a true red. I look on my channel, so let's see how this is gonna look i'm gonna put this all over my lid i'm not even gonna apply any um what you call it setting powder the color isn't coming off there it goes okay you have to build this up it's not as dark as i thought it would be it actually looks darker in the pan but I'm gonna build, I'm gonna keep building the color up and just putting this all over my lid. I notice I keep having to dip the brush in that color over and over again to get the pigment. Let me wet my brush. Let me see. Let's see with it wet. Yeah, it goes on better when you wet your brush. You get more of that pigment and it just sticks on a little bit better. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into this dark brown. It's called Anyway. And taking the crease, uh, the soft crease brush that we used with it earlier and just putting it into the crease again, just touching the red, just so the red can kind of blend in to the crease and just buffing that into the crease a little bit more just to kind of smoke it out some and also so those shades can blend in together. Okay, hands down, this is probably one of the best matte formulas I've tried in any palette. Like, hands down. Hands freaking down. Alright, now that that is in the crease, I'm going to go back into that red color using the brush that we use with it and just packing on more of that color since we kind of lost a little bit once we started blending the brown. Just packing it all over the lid again and also kind of touching some of the brown just blending both shades together okay so I think I want to go into coral amber right here this gold color and I'm taking the pointed crease brush this is gonna be our inner corner color right here but I'm gonna also kind of blend it up y'all see what I'm doing I'm taking it I'm putting it right there on the inner corner of my I probably need to um, wet this one too but let me just see what it looks like without having to wet it but I'm just putting it right here on the inner corner and then also kind of lightly dragging it up like this yeah, I'm going to wet my brush because this isn't showing up as good. There we go. There we go. Okay. This is cute. This is cute. I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes, put on some mascara. The mascara I'm using is this one 
which is their Major Pleasure Mascara. So pop my lashes on, pop a little bit of this mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the lashes are on, and I am feeling this look. This looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and dust away the powder on my nose. All right, just by looking at my face, I feel like it's pretty matte. So this powder is definitely mattifying, but it doesn't feel dry, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna actually spray my face with a little bit of setting mist in a few minutes, but I do wanna try out the blush first. This is the Satellite of Love, and this is the one that I said I like better than the other one. And the brush I'm gonna use is their big powder brush for the blush. Ooh, I like. That is pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. I'm gonna use the Morphe setting mist because they didn't send over. I don't think they have setting sprays on their website, but I'm gonna use this instead. This just brings everything together. It doesn't make it look too powdery on the face. Let me spray a little bit more. Mm. You can see that huge difference now that I've sprayed the face. It doesn't look too flat or too powdery. So it just looks more natural and skin-like. So since I don't have a highlighter, I'm just gonna use the do uh, my Dose of Color highlighter. This is the shade Royal Hotness. Now they do have a highlighter, I just think it was probably sold out, which is why they didn't include it in my box. But, ooh, that's too much. Okay, we're almost done. Now the last part is the lips. I don't have a lip liner. Well, they didn't send over a lip liner, but I wanna try the lipstick in the shade Lust. And this just looks like a really nice, soft, nude and i feel like a nude would go better with this eye look so let's just see what this looks like without a lip liner let me swatch it first so y'all can see it on my hand there it is oh no i might have to wear a lip liner let me just see though Ooh, it's super creamy yeah i might have to Pair it with a lip liner. So let me grab one real quick. ColourPop BFF4 never lets me down. Okay. So that looks 10 times better. Apply a little bit more. I kind of want to top it off with a gloss. So the three glosses I pulled out was Champagne Supernova, um, Crazy Diamond, and Lethal Nudes. Don't know which one. Let's try Champagne Supernova because this one is so pretty. Put this on top. Ooh. It's pretty much clear, so it doesn't really take away from the color, but but it's pretty. This is pretty. Let me swatch these two, by the way. I didn't swatch them earlier, but that's Champagne Supernova. And then we have Lethal Nudes. Right there. It's a really light nude. Definitely would pair a liner with that. And then the other one I pulled out that I thought I would use is Crazy Diamond. I like this lip combo, y'all. Okay, Crazy Diamond. Ooh, that's pretty. But yeah, this is how everything is looking. I'm really, really, really liking this look. Very fall appropriate, you guys. Like, this is a really pretty warm fall eye look and I am so here for it. It actually matches my robe too. By the way, a lot of you asked me where I get this from. It's from Victoria's Secret. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll 
like I said earlier, I want to do a full day wear test. So I will check back with you guys later on after I have worn this entire face for a few hours. Um, I'm really interested in seeing how the foundation is going to hold up, how the setting powder is going to hold up, how the concealer is going to hold up. So really the complexion products. But as of right now, so far, my favorites are the eyeshadow palettes, both of the palettes, because they are gorgeous. The mattes, girl. I'm gonna need for them to come out with an all matte palette with like all warm neutral shades like they're gonna need to do that because their mattes are really really good so the palettes are good the blush i really like the glosses i like i like the lipstick too it's very creamy and matte but it's not like too drying on the lips so so far those are my favorites but I will check back with you guys later on and give you guys a final review on the complexion products and all of that good stuff. So I will see you guys later. All right, we are back. Let's see, what time is it? 6.59, so 7 o'clock. It was 12.30. So yeah, I've had it on for a good amount of time for me to actually review the products so I'm gonna start out with the foundation my lips are so dry I was eating drinking so all of my lipstick lip gloss is gone so I'll go ahead and apply a little bit more of the gloss on my lips that way you guys can see what it looks like by itself and it doesn't have even though it has like the the glitter in it it's not gritty or crummy you can't feel any of the glitter in the gloss but starting out with the foundation I see that it did hold up um, there is nothing let me look close yeah so there's no separation around my nose like right there in the creases of my nose I do see a little bit of my smile lines trying to peek through just 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 a little bit not too much though but all in all I still think it looks pretty good like it still looks really nice. Even with the concealer and the setting powder, they still look good on my skin. Like everything looks really, really good. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like my face now looks more like the finish looks better than it did before because it looked more powdery, more matte. But now that everything is settled into the skin, Everything has been on my skin for a while. I feel like it just looks so much better right now because I kind of have that natural glow, like that dew, but it's not too dewy, if you get what I'm saying. But I mean, it looks good. It looks nice. It looks natural, um, even though this makeup look is not like a natural look, but the skin, the skin looks natural. And that's what I like. So foundation, thumbs up concealer thumbs up and the setting powder definitely a thumbs up um i like how the setting powder did mattify my skin but it wasn't too dry like it didn't feel dry and it also looks like it still looks matte under my eyes it still looks matte on my chin my forehead right here i can't say too much about the bridge of my nose because i put on a highlighter right there but it looks flawless under my eyes and i'm going to show you guys close-ups so y'all can see my face. So here's a close up right here. But yeah, all in all, I definitely say the products gets a thumbs up from me. Um, I didn't mention the mascara because I didn't, I don't think I showed a clip of me applying the mascara, but I did mention that the wand kind of reminded me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And also when I was started, like when I was applying it on my bottom lash line, I noticed that it gripped every single lash. Like there's no clumping, it just, really gripped every lash and it also kind of gave it a little length and I also applied some under my false lashes so that way my real lashes can kind of fade into the false lashes but so far I like the mascara I like everything else that I use only thing that I would say is I wish that they came out with deeper shades in the pressed powder so I won't get much use out of this unless I use it as a setting powder under my eyes which I definitely want to try to use that um, or try that out in another video but other than that I'll probably just use it for the side of my jawline like you guys saw in the video and that's about it but yeah I wish they came out with deeper shades in this but everything else they like I have no complaints about it the foundation the concealer the setting powder the eyeshadows um, the blush the gloss the lipstick 
What else did I use? Their brushes. Their brushes are really, really, really soft and fluffy. So I'm really enjoying their brushes. Um, anything else? Anything I left out? I think that was pretty much all that I used. Oh, the brow pencil. So I am liking the brow pencil. It's not anything different from what I've used. I feel like it's very, very close to the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz, the Benefit, what is it? The Benefit Precisely My Brow, the CoverGirl Brow Pencil that I always use, um, the, the Revolution Pro Brow Pencil that I always use. So it's very, very close to those. Same packaging, um, but the Benefit one is different packaging. But this one is really similar to all of the other skinny brow products that I use and I like it. The color is good. It works. But other than that, that is, I think that's all that I have for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys stuck with me to the very end. If you did, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to do another secret giveaway for those of you who stuck to the very end of this video, even though I do giveaways anyway, monthly giveaways, but I want to do an extra one for today's video. So I'm going to be giving away a couple of products from Nabla and let's see what should you guys comment let's leave a comment saying huh let me see comment down below your favorite product to use when doing your makeup whether that's eyeshadow lip gloss lipstick blush foundation, concealer, whatever is your favorite product to use, comment that down below. And I will be picking, like I'm gonna randomly pick someone within the next two weeks. So two weeks from today, I'll go in the comments and then I'm gonna respond, um, reply, to, reply to one of you randomly and I'll send you guys a little package of goodies. And this is gonna be international. Um, another giveaway that I do, which is my monthly giveaways, um, which is every single month I give away one box to one person. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed and make sure you thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section. And I don't want any of the comments to be anything about the giveaway. Let's talk about the products that I shared in today's video. Let's talk about whether you've tried this brand out or not, or if you're wanting to try out this brand, let's talk about that. So yes, that's all that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up and make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.